I swear. Okay, now your first step. Okay. Hello everyone, welcome to Supercars of London, living with a supercar, another episode and one that I'm not looking forward to, but again, I am really looking forward to making this episode. It's one that I've said I was going to make for a long time. If you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you would have also seen that I tried to do it last night. However, you, not you watching, but the camera, I forgot it, I left it at SB Race Engineering, the whole place got locked up, which meant that I was all ready to go, I had my duvet, pillow, I had this huge coat, hat and scarves ready to spend the night in this car, I was mentally prepared to spend the night in the car, and I forgot the video camera, which meant none of it could have been captured, and I wasn't going to spend the night in an old people's, abandoned old people's home in this car for the fun of it. So as hotel rates go, this is quite an expensive one, approximately £40,000, and I'm gonna be spending the night in this area. So what I'm gonna do now is give you a quick tour, guided tour of what I can be dealing with tonight in this hotel room. To begin with, we've got two seating areas. We've got one seating area here that I'm sat in, and this is the second seating area. It's also um, a bed because um, it doesn't have a steering wheel in the way. So I'm thinking that this is going to be where I'm gonna be spending most of my time tonight. I'm gonna to try and fit in the footwell, even though I'm gonna be hugely fat in this coat and duvet. Another fantastic element of this hotel room is we've got fantastic sea views, as you can see there. Yep, there's the sea, nice and blue, fantastic coral. And inside, it's very luxurious. We've got black leather everywhere, lots of carbon fiber, which won't do too much tonight in terms of comfort. And across, we've got stainless steel around here, which um, looks fantastic. We've got some numbers, which will provide me with some entertainment. This television, um, it doesn't actually say television along here, which is quite worrying. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing for entertainment. So there we have it, there's a tour of my bedroom for tonight. The time is approximately midday on Friday. We're 24 hours away from this video going live. However, we're 12 hours away from being completely in the middle of the night when I'm gonna be parked outside the abandoned old people's home. I'm gonna head back inside, grab some lunch, mentally prepare myself, not forgetting to not forget the video camera. Good evening. The time is half past eight. Try and get that in camera. Half past eight, I've got 94% battery and I have arrived. I've arrived um, with my car, of course, because the whole idea of this episode is I'm going to be staying the night um, in these surroundings, which is an abandoned old people's home. We're gonna get fairly close. Now, the weird thing is one of the videos that I did before, uh, the scary bit was that the light from this door, where's my finger? This door was on, but now it's off and the light next to it is on with this light that is also on. But all of the doors are completely bolted up. It's got national security warning saying that these premises are protected at 24 hour monitored alarms. So there's supposed to be no one around here, but this is a place that I found where um, it was quiet enough for me to vlog, not get too many distractions and stuff. However, it's turned into one of the most scariest places and to be here at nighttime by myself, um, I am utterly pooing myself. I'm not sure whether I can fit in the footwell. I'm gonna give it a go because it looks quite snug. Might take my shoes off. Not sure if that's gonna help or not. Ouch, ow. No, I'm not gonna get in the footwell, but this is quite comfy. I've got my feet up. <sighs> my feet stink. Might need to open a, uh, a window. But I think it's just started to rain. 
So the passenger side seat has now turned into the bed in the Audi R8 hotel room. I'm quite comfortable sitting right next to the door handle. Just thought, I haven't even got it on like central lock or anything like that. But because it's so dark outside, you really can't tell where you are. This is quite surreal. I've never stayed the night in a car at all. So to, to spend the night in this car, it's a two-seater. I thought that I was going to be comfy. I didn't know whether there was going to be that much space, but it's not too bad. I'm going to get the BBC weather up to work out how cold it's going to be tonight, or at least look in advance. I feel a bit bare grills trying to... Uh, work out whether I'm going to be cold or not, whether I need to go outside, get some um, dry wood and uh, start a fire. Camera is just turning off. Oh, that's weird. Nine degrees apparently is the minimum it's going to be. It's going to be fairly clear. No need to do a fire Bear grill style. Um, it's only five past nine, absolutely shattered. I think because I'm so hot that it's uh, making me sleepy. Well, it was going to be exciting, this video. I think it was just supposed to be quite funny because just there, we can't actually see it. It's all steamed up. Am I going to run out of oxygen in here? Um, completely all steamed up. Do I really need to open a window? I haven't thought about that at all. Mm. Street light is still on. I can't get these uh, scary thoughts out of my head. We haven't even got that far into it. I think the time's 10 o'clock. Um, started to feel a little bit uncomfortable, so I'm sitting up. The window's just behind me. And let me try and put the light on. Street light is still on. I can't get these uh, scary thoughts out of my head. We haven't even got that far into it. I think the time's 10 o'clock. Um, started to feel a little bit uncomfortable, so I'm sitting up. The window's just behind me. And let me try and put the light on. Whoops, I just turned it off. That's the light. So, phew, that's so bright. Let's try. Let's vacuum. No, I can feel a lot of blood rushing to my head. I'm at a 45 degree angle, and it smells of feet down here. A matter I don't want to think about too much because it's my only source of light outside, apart from that weird empty room that's also got the light on. And I don't even want to look to see what's in there. Not that there's going to be anything in there, but just images in my head. Everyone's going to think that I'm a scaredy, scaredy cat on YouTube, but it is actually quite nerve wracking. The vlogs that I've done here in the past, there's just been some weird spooky stuff that happened that I wasn't expecting and coming here by myself during the day is um, bad enough. But at night time, with different lights on, and I think a lot of people out there are going to notice that the different lights that are on in previous vlogs to what's on in the buildings now, um, and all of the doors are bolted. Well, this whole idea of the episode was, can you live with this supercar? Can you actually sleep in it? Because uh, when I was younger, I did say that I'd much rather have a supercar and live in it rather than have a house and a normal car. So technically, I'm doing it right now. I'm living in um, an Audi R8. All I've got now is my coat. I'm getting so hot, um, but the uh, window I've left a little bit open and I'm now getting really tired. I don't know whether that... It's windy. The rain stopped, though. But... 
was no longer enjoying myself, that is for sure. Um, but <sighs> please. I don't know whether you can hear that, but there's like rustling right outside. Ugh. The lights are still on. Oh no, imagine. Imagine just, I zoomed in too much there. Anything could have uh, shown its face. I'm not sleepy anymore. But I need sleep, I'm so tired. Oh, I've slept for, I don't even know how long I've slept for. An hour, 10 to two, but I can still hear stuff outside. Window is fully down because I'm so hot. I swear something is out here. I swear. I can hear footsteps. I can hear footsteps. Oh my god! Oh my god! Real ghost! Real ghost! What? This is haunted!